The Dozen Trivia Competition presented by Wood Grooming returns with a huge matchup in the battle for the Crown Six. Number one ranked Team Chicago won the crown just before Christmas and they've held it ever since, knocking off the honkers to get it and then defending it against the experts. Now they go up against 6-2-0 Team Minahan, former crown holders, and now looking to get the crown back with their team at full strength and the return of Rico Bosco. It's Chief Carl and Dave against Kirk, Pat, and Rico in the battle for the crown six on the Dozen Trivia Competition, and it all starts right now. All right, it's the Dozen match. 181 overall. The battle for the crown six for the second time. It's Team Chicago against Team Minahan. They actually, the, the, I think Team Minahan debuted against Team Chicago last year many, many moons ago. Many moons ago. Many teammates ago. Um, but n- now Chicago and Minahan fair, squaring off. There's the crown on Carl. Chicago, the number one ranked team in the dozen. Minahan, number three. They were number two before LA. Frank gets number two, but this is as close to one versus two as it's going to get. Winner will take on Smokin for the crown. They're in the wait and in the wings for another crown match. But the winner is number one. There's only two more of these left. Whoever wins today, if you win two more crown matches, you're the number one seed in the Dozen Trivia Tournament, which will be taped in May, airing two weeks in May. Uh, Going to have double headers every night. Going to be huge. Cannot wait. Also, Chicago live event coming soon. Stay tuned for details. Chicago boys will be there in Chicago in front of a raucous crowd. You will not want to miss that when tickets drop, but stay tuned. No details quite yet, but that's coming out. That's going to happen in April. First word from our sponsor. Introducing a brand new Barstool brand, Wood, a new men's grooming line offering products across hair, body, beard, and shave. With Wood products, you're going to look great. You're going to smell great. You're going to feel great. All for a very affordable price, as well. These are high-quality products, $15 or less. All products sulfate-free as well. You can find them at CVS or online. You can get them online or at CVS. Getwood.com if you want to buy them online. Fantastic products. They smell great. They feel great. Hair care. You get shampoo, conditioner, pomades, body, body wash, deodorant, moisturizers uh, for the face, face wash, face scrub. For beard and shave, you have beard conditioners, beard oil, shaving creams. Oil up those beards. Men listening, come on, take care of those beards. Uh, The deodorant's great. Everything is fantastic. Smells great. You'll feel great. And again, getwood.com or CVS. $15 $15 or less. High quality products, great price. Live that wood lifestyle. Wood works and smells as good as it looks. All right, Chicago. Chief Carl, Dave. Everyone laughed at it. They laughed at the idea you were going for the crown in December. I was sitting in the same exact seat in Austin, Texas, and now you're looking to defend it and win a third time with the crown. How you feeling? Thoughts? I have a I would like to say, first and foremost, fuck Brandon Walker. And that's also my last thought. So it's my first and last thought. We, we've had it for so long that my concern is that, you know, we got complacent. So we'll see how we come out tonight. But that would be my one concern, that we've had it for too long we, we, that we've got complacent. For, for, ver- for various reasons, yes. Uh, this was to happen three or four weeks ago. Obviously, things happened. But you now have had it for like 60 days, maybe more. Um, and even if you lose tonight, you're look, everyone laughed. You're five, three, and you're very firmly top six, even if you lose after the vote. Kirk, other side, full squad. Welcome back, Rico Bosco, to the dozen. Last time you played, you won. Um, you won in a pretty good tune up match, mm-hmm. but now you're here, uh, looking to get the crown back again. Yeah, I mean, I I like the Chicago guys, but we're I mean, we we are the champions. I mean, if I you know if I was mentally stable, we'd have the title right now. So I mean, I think they you know same, that's how they same, that's how, right same, that's how they want to do correct correct. So we, but I mean, I think we're sort of like Ali when he was you know the whole Vietnam thing. But that, right. that's fine. They've had their run. Their run ends tonight, though. Like it is. <laughs> it, it is I should say I'm I'm very excited for this match. Like when when we had the whole Brandon Walker drama. I just didn't think he was worthy. I wanted Kirk. I think Kirk's no. the best player. So I'm, I'm I happy. love the Chicago. I like the Chicago guys a lot. I, this isn't about them. We, uh, we, you know, uh, Rico knows, Pat knows. We have made a pact as a team 
we're together. We're a band of three, and we are not losing again. We will not lose another game again. That's guaranteed. I will say the text, the text chain, the text chain has tightened up. There's not a lot of joking around. Not a <laughs> yeah, lot of like true. fooling true. around in warm ups. We get to the <laughs> arena. Ready Actually, to go. I, I, I want to know. Kirk's I, running a tight ship. I'm, I'm not saying, Kirk, you're not a motivator, but you you kind of had to break some silence like a week or two ago. You're like, what the fuck's going on with this team? Like, get yep. some. let's get rowdy here. Yep. A little bit of Junction, boys. A little bit of Bear Brian. I took the guys out with and got them back into shape. So, I mean, again, you know, the Chicago guys are here physically, but this game is about our team. And we're sort of the – the Brandon Walker thinks he's the center of this universe, but this team is the center of the universe. So we'll find that. But they're great. Look, I, the Chicago guys are my, my favorite other team in the league. So I have nothing but uh, but respect and admiration for those guys. I, I want a good view of this vacuum hose right here. Yeah, I mean, you're a zero, but the other two guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is a baseball bat for all intents and purposes, and I'm pointing it to center field and calling my shot tonight. I'm about to walk it off. You see that? What? All right. Um, a meaningless stat, but I want to congratulate Team Minahan on. I already told them, but I we ordered shirts for the dozen tournament, and it's the only team that all had the same size for their shirt in the tournament. So congratulations, that's that's the consistency. No other team had. So that's how we do it? No, that's, that's another one for the stat book. Uh, as always, and reminder: team that has the crown at the end of the season, the last regular season match, match two hundred. The team that wins that matchup, it'll be the number one ranked team versus the number two ranked team. We'll get a buy, the only buy in the dozen trivia tournament. Here we go. 24 questions, 12 categories. Uh, a 25th question being the bonus round. Niche category uh, rules have changed for multiple reasons. I think it went well last match. Both teams got it. You now pick your own. You can't use the same niche in the next match. So the winner of this, you cannot use this niche category in the next crown match. Uh, as always, your three lifelines. Double up any question you want. Can't double up or use any lifelines on the niche category round. Your call a friend and your double dip can be paired together, but they cannot be used on a question you have doubled up. Chief, your final answer person for your team. Kirk, your final answer person for your team. Chicago, you're up first every round. Minahan, you're up second. Here we go for the crown. I like going second. First category, Major League Baseball. Here we go. Major League Baseball. 35 seconds on the clock. This is four. No double. Double, no double. I'm asking you guys. Fuck it. Let's do it. We always forget to do it and have to do it at the end, last question anyways, and it fucked us the one time. So let's do it. All right. I just feel like he – remember one time it was like Kendry Morales was a slugger for the Mariners. So that is true. Awful question, Jeff. Let's save the double. All right. This is worth two? No. Oh, okay. No, what? fuck it. Fuck it. Let's do it. Come fuck on, it. Let's do it. Get on the same page. This is worth two. <laughs> this is worth two. For two let's points. <laughs> 35 seconds. What National League team did Yvonne Rodriguez play his final game with in 2011? 35 seconds. I mean, uh, if he – he Did he – I mean, part of me wants to say the Miami Marlins. That's, yeah, that was, but it's not. Is it? I, I don't know, Dave. That's why I'm saying I can go through the East. I know the East. I know he didn't fuck around in the Central – 10 seconds. Was he like ring chasing with the Dodgers by chance or something like that? So that's uh, what makes me want to say the Dodgers, but I don't I don't remember. Three. Dave, Miami Marlins. I would say Miami, yeah. Miami Marlins final. Other side for two points. Skip, I got a very good feeling about the Washington Nationals. Okay, let's do it. Pat, you okay, okay. with that? It, do you have anything, though? Do you have no, anything no, else? I, I actually was, I was with those guys. I was with the Marlins. Um, All right. So, uh, Pat, what do you think? That was what Rico says. Okay, Nationals final answer. Two nothing out of the gate. That is correct. Oh, they doubled up. <laughs> it's trouble. I knew it. God that damn boy, it. You know. That a boy. Two points for oh. Team Minahan to make it three nothing early. Here's your question. What national league team did Greg Maddox play his final game with in 2008? It's either. It's either. Go ahead. What do you got? I got I'm a good thinking, feeling too. I'm thinking the Padres. Okay, I, I remember West Coast. I was going to say the Giants, but the Giants would ring. Ch- the Giants the, were like contenders back then. Where they go? Yeah, I like the, the. I like Padres the Padres. Padres. Padres is one of the two. I like the Padres. I do. I like the. You're, okay. I think you're right. I think Maybe it's the Padres. Padres. All right, Padres finally. Yeah, answer. good pick. Fuck, man. Other side for the steal. Fifteen seconds. Who, who are the Dodgers? Who are the Dodgers? Who are the Los Angeles Dodgers? Oh no, it is the Dodgers. It is the Dodgers. The Los Angeles Dodgers. 
Dodgers. Final answer, Dodgers. Credit to the Dodgers. That is correct. Two to one. It's, All right. It was That's fine. We, we, got, we, we, we had that division corn. I mean, we said two teams in that division. Fuck. They, doubled, right. we, they doubled on it. We yeah, got all right. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Celebrity mashup, second category. Two to one. Wild start. Here we go. Name the two celebrities in this photo. 35 seconds when the picture gets large for Chicago. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Chief with an audible groan. Um, I have the inside. Like Courtney Cox on the outside? That was the only name I was thinking, actually. Um, she, is that young enough? I feel like that's a real young breath oh, bone. What about like Emmanuel Shrieky? She's got no, that I, like... I, Okay, I don't know who that is. I have the inside. I, I have the entourage. You know her. Yeah, you do. It's jo- or, uh, Sloan. Sloan. Sloan from Entourage. Five. The guy's Four. Tom Holland. Three. Tom Holland and Emmanuel Shariki. Other side. It's definitely, definitely Tom Holland. Definitely Tom side. Holland. You said Courtney Cox, but that doesn't feel – that feels like too – I don't like know if she ever had that Tom hair. Oh, yeah, I'm just trying to – I'm trying to get his face on him. Uh – it's not Chloe Kardashian. I love- Five. Jennifer Four. Love Hewitt? Three. Yeah. Two. Go with Jennifer that. Love Hewitt, Tom Holland. One. Megan Fox and Tom Holland. Uh, Megan Fox and Tom uh, Holland. Got it. Okay. Other side to make it three to one. I didn't know Tom Holland. So. Ooh. That's, that's t- this is for us. I know who the guy is. Who's that? Uh, t- okay. You know what it is? Let's you know hold is? the guy. Hold the guy. Um, that's not Miley, is it? No. Fuck. It's a singer. The girl is a singer. I just can't picture. What does she sing? What does she sing? I feel no, like it's like not? British. Ten it's seconds. Not. You want me to give you the guy or no? No. If you don't know the girl, I don't think it's worth. Do you guys think it's uh, worth guessing or no? Rico, no. Three. Nope. No. No. no, no. Fifteen no. seconds for a big steal. It's an easy girl. The guy's too, Timothy probably. Shamalette. Okay. Shamalette. Okay. What? Nothing. Keep going. Close enough. The the, the babe. I mean, it, it like we've guessed Gwyneth Paltrow before. Who's the CEO of Yahoo? It looks like her. <laughs> she, I don't think she's been a CEO for like Five, ten years. <laughs> we have the Gone Girl the other. You need Shamalot and 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 uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, uh Megan Fox. It's Kristen Bell you? also. <laughs> and. I, I've been told Shamalette would not have been oh, yeah, Chalamet. Yeah. Chalamet didn't get it How do you pronounce it for real? Timothy Chalamet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chalamet. You want to take – Should we been – we're better. We're, we're being more lenient with names now. As long as one person says it, we're accepting it. But Shamalette is – I'm being told no. It's but it didn't matter. It's phonetically correct. It's phonetically correct. Sure. Yeah, that's a distinctive haircut. He's a good actor. Show, he's but... an up-and-comer. I mean, he's not up-and-comer. He's very good. He's in Dune. Uh, next category is music. Two to one. Music. Come on, Dave. Double oh, off the board for Chicago. Uh, Colin, Colin says he's he's gone tonight. He can't answer. I already talked to him. I got yeah, Kenny yeah. on standby, though, but he's, he's also – 35 seconds. Guitar key. AWOL Nation. The longest song on his 2010 album, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Kanye West first debuted this nine-minute song at the 2010 VMAs. I'm FaceTiming Dante. He'll know it. Okay. Okay. All right, they're going to FaceTime Dante from the Misfits. Had a big phone a friend in L.A., by the way. It, he knows, too, because I was talking to him a few minutes ago. He says he's in, if he doesn't answer, I'll fucking kill him. Using their phone a friend on music. You better fucking answer, Dante. Oh, here we go. Hey, Dante. The longest song on my beautiful, dark, twisted fantasy, Kanye West. What's that? Runaway. Runaway. Yeah, nine yeah, nine minutes runway. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You're good. Thank you, Dante. Is that correct? Uh final chief. Find out. That is correct. Two to two. Got a baby Dante. Two lifelines hey, down. Don't, do not Dante, do not answer a call yeah, from Kurt, Nico or Pat. Other side tied up. Two lifelines gone for Chicago. This is for Team Minahan. One of the three biggest songs on his album, The Adventures of Bobby Ray, B.O.B. teamed up with Rivers Cuomo for this 2010 song. I don't know any of those names. So. B.O.B., that feels like it's actually the 2010. That's like college. One of the three biggest songs on his album, The Adventures of Bobby Ray, B.O.B. teamed up with Rivers Cuomo for this 2010 song, B.O.B. Oh, um, is that? Um, 
That is it. Do we want to paper get high like planes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the best guess. So it's uh fly yeah. like paper get high like planes. All you gotta do is doom 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 the broom. What the fuck's the name of that song? Three. Uh pl- planes. I think it's planes. planes. Silence. Other side. I think so it's Rivers, it's, it's, it's the lead singer of Weezer. What song did Weezer and uh, B.O.B. do? I don't know shit. I only know the one. It's like airplanes in the night sky, like shooting stars. That's the only one I know. It's I Paper Planes. Oh. That was the chick. I, don't, I forget her. I'm blanking her name. Three. Two. Shooting star. One. That would be Magic. The other song is by a three-letter artist, M.I.A., by the way. So yeah, yeah. M.I.A. It was, a, it was one of the big tracks on Madden 2010 or 11 or something. NBA, next category. NBA, two lifelines down for Chicago. Chicago, uh, Minahan, you have all of yours. Yep. Why don't you guys double this? Who was Anthony Davis's head coach with New Orleans during his first three seasons from 2012 to 2015? Pass. I mean, like, who? I can't think of one coach for the New Orleans Pelicans. They're, uh, they're, I don't, I can't, <clears throat> lifeline because, uh, their GM went to Northwestern and I know his son. Otherwise, I could just call him, but I can't do that. Fuck. Help. I know. I don't know. I have no fucking clue. Don't even, don't even say a name just in case. Uh, yeah. I don't know. They're passing. Other side. I think maybe, uh, Alvin Gentry. That's the name I liked. I also was thinking Mo Cheeks for some reason. Like, I don't think so. I go don't with Gentry. So. Go okay. with. I'm dead serious. It was go with Gentry. I like right, Alvin Gentry. Final answer. Monty Williams. Monty oh. Williams is the correct answer. All right. Okay. Fine. All right. Other side for a three-two lead. Who is Kyrie Irving's head coach for Cleveland during his first two seasons from 2011 to 2013? Who is the guy from Israel? David. Oh, David. We're not. Yeah. Oh. My bad, my bad. Yeah, it's a guy who was a fucking disaster. It's just we're the champs, Dave. Yeah, this is what I mean about getting complacent. We need we need more focus. He was a disaster. Just, he was a disaster. I don't know his first Holy? name. I don't know his last Ten. name. Who? Holy. No, nah, so, I, I don't want to use any. All right, don't all burn right. it. Yeah, it's some disaster guy. I'm gonna know the name when I see it, but I don't know it. No, nah, we don't know. Other side, David Blatt. In G- yeah, David. the guy from Israel, right? What was his name? You, David Blatt, but I don't know. I didn't think yeah. he lasted what, that long. Wasn't what about the guy who's coaching Indiana now? Was he Kyrie's coach, and then LeBron came? Mike Williams, five. Mike no, Smith, four. three. I don't know. It wasn't David Blatt. David Blatt. It, it wasn't was. David Blatt. Dave though faked out the other <laughs> side big time on that. It was yeah, Byron Scott. Byron Scott. Byron Scott. No, I wouldn't have got that. I didn't know that. Okay. Next category is movies. Got it. Anyone right. go? We're even here now. No? Stay focused. Stay focused, Dave. We're uh, here. What do you think, Skip? Yeah, I don't hate it. We always do. We... Matt, it's your call. Hey, go for it. Yeah, go for it. Uh, I mean, what? What's that? I, I don't know. Know. Let's Let's save it. it. Let's save it. Okay, we'll save it. No. Okay. All right. Yeah. We'll save okay, it. not doubled up. This is for Chicago. 35 oh, seconds. Man. This 2005 movie starring Terrence Howard became second in the 2000s to have a hip-hop song with Best Original Song at the Oscars. I know this. Hustle and Flow? I think that's the Memphis one, right? I would be fine answering Hustle and Flow. Yeah. Hustle and Flow? Flow. Hustle and Flow. Final answer? Final. That is correct. Three to two. This one's going be easy. I I can tell you one thing. I have no idea how I even knew that. I don't. I've been. <laughs> you, that was out of your mouth immediately. It was a three, three mafia. What was it? Three, six mafia. You yeah. hot, guys. You yeah. stay hot, guys. This one better be easy. That was a layup. Other <laughs> side. Okay, Rico. Oh God, Rico. George Clooney did Steven Soderbergh movies and back to back in two thousand and one. So Solaris. I got further into that question than I thought I would. That is correct. Three to three. Sure, well. What did you think of that movie? Did you like it? I liked it. Yeah, I liked it a lot. You Niche. remembered it so quickly. I didn't know if you it's watched slow. it. It's, it's slow, but I actually liked it. Yeah, it's slow. Niche category time. Damn Chicago, it. you chose. My fault. My fault. 
The Chicago White Sox. Team oh, Eddie Dave! Dave throws the Masters. First up, Chicago White Sox for two points. White Sox, Dave, big moment here to take a 5-3 to three lead. Let's go, Dave. After Connor Gillespie, this free agent infielder in his only year with the team started the second most game to the White Sox at third base in 2013. Todd Frazier. No, no, no. He was after that. Um, I want to say Bacon. Who? Uh, there's back then it was there was Bacon, there was Brent Morrell. Marcus Simeon, uh, Simeon might have played. Only year with the team, Dave. Only year. Ten seconds. Only year with the team. Um, let's go, Marcus Simeon. F- final answer. Final. final. Yes. Other side. What they say, Tom Frazier. What was else? It Todd Frazier, Rico? Do you, uh, Pat, do you know anybody else or no? Todd Frazier was with them. I feel like a couple of years. Okay. Uh, okay. But but. He fits the bill. So let's that's an educated guess unless you have something else, Kurt. I do not. All right, Todd Frazier. Todd Frazier. He was, he was like 2015 or Jeff Keppinger. Jeff Keppinger is the correct he answer. He sucked. Jeff Keppinger. No idea. He never struck out. He's one of the lowest strikeout rates. It, that it, means this one. <laughs> yeah, he never struck out. That's his first line is Wikipedia. The guy never struck out, basically. This one's going to be tough, Kirk. Other know. side. He's to make it five to three. Masters. Only two golfers finished in the top 10 at both the 93 and 94 Masters. Jose Maria Olathebel and this golfer finished top five each time. Actually finished the questions. I love how you rushed through it, Jeff. <laughs> I know. It's a tough one. Got it. Ten seconds. Carl, do you know it? Five, four, three. Off you, Kirk. Two. Uh, longer. Final answer. Other side for a steal. All right. So I would. Davis Love. Dave, a couple guys that come to head. Davis Love, Hale Irwin, and uh, uh, and Greg Norman. Star? What about what about uh, Crenshaw? I mean, he won it. Around- I like Crenshaw. I like Crenshaw more. I like Crenshaw too. He's, he had a good Five. putting stroke. He's, what do you want to say? I, I would take Ben Crenshaw. All right, we'll take Crenshaw. The Tom Lehman? Tom God Lehman. damn it. All right. It's all right. All right. Zero, zero. Tom I Lehman. Was longer than Lehman. I, I knew it was You're one the of those. Bonus round, Jeff. Not yeah, quite zero, round. zero, Pat. You guys still have your double. That's something worth noting. It is bonus round time. Three to three in Battle for the Crown Six. <sighs> got to get the bonus. You got to get this. We got to take our time. Time to make the donuts. That's, oh, not that's, that's not that's good. Not musicians and bands. Hang All on. right, what is it? Masters oh. champions. <laughs> it's, yeah. Name the twenty-five most streamed guys on White Sox Day Spotify list. W e e i beefs. Yeah, we are stuck. <laughs> shit today. Chain restaurants. Chain no, restaurants. I'm Here we go. Bonus I, round. I, Chain I, I, I fucking hate this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what the last time you said that you got like the mascot for like Cal State Northridge or something. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> here we go. Name the 30 biggest seafood, Asian, and Mexican slash Tex Mex food chains in the United States by sales from last year. All right, 35 so- seconds or 10 seconds per guess. Timer right. begins. These are, these now. are, these are red, right, Being red lobster. You want to say Chipotle? Chipotle. Definitely. Chipotle. Taco Bell. Um, I, do, I got a Chinese one. Good. P.F. Chang's. You want to say that, Rico? Yeah. It's a chain. Yeah, go with it. Okay. Yeah, P.F. Chang. Good I job, won. Man. I won. Uh, Panda Express. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Took mine. Um... um. I got the, uh, is it Cordoba? You want to say? Yeah, was, uh, oh. yeah. Go with that. Okay, yes. Cordoba. Uh, Joe's Crab Shack. No, or not. Uh, what's the, the Long John Silver's? Long John Silver's. That Long John Silver's. Yes, that's what I was thinking of. Oh boy, Chief. Fuck, I'm trying to think. Uh, it's not. Pop- I don't know why Popeyes. That's five. Bad. It's gonna sound crazy, but what about Sarko Three. Japan? All right, Sark. Uh, Sarko Sarku, Japan. Sarko Japan. Sarku, Sarku Japan. <laughs> 
Good job. Do we like bonefish? Jeff took that in our. No, what I like bonefish uh, as a restaurant. Yeah, bonefish. To stay alive. I mean, Benny Han is not qualified, or no? Yeah, uh, the yeah, I got one Mexican, but I think it's deep. Good. Five. Good. I and I like. You okay. like Benny Hanna? Right. Benny Hanna. Sudden death. What about Del Taco? Yep. Fair answer. Yep. That's a poll. What about Moe's Mexican? Yeah, Moe's. Mm. Big airports for Asian food. Five, four, three, two. Joe's Crab Shack. Say it. Joe's Crab Shack. Joe's Crab Shack. What's the fucking Asian place where you make – they make it in front of you. Maybe it's just Northeastern. That's all right. What is it? Five. I can't think of the name. Three, two. Uh, Ari Rang. Ari Rang. Ari. Okay, yeah. Fuck right. you. Fuck you. Ron of Japan. Say it again. Ron of Japan. I don't even know what that is. Five. I've never heard of it, but sure. Final. Three. Um, what's like? We're missing a big seafood one here. I'm trying. They have fucking commercials. I can like see it in my head. It's like Baltimore, uh, like area. To legal seafood, it's a bun New England one. Hey, Golden Corral. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Golden Corral. No, 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 wait, no. No, that's the shitty. Uh, Golden like, Corral. I don't think that's seafood. No, Golden that's Corral. Right. It's, it's not. It's a buffet place. It's a buffet place. You're we're close though. I like Golden Corral. We're hovering or hovering around the right answer, guys. I can feel it. Anybody got anything? Fucking, no. uh, Dos Toros. Dos Toros. Dos Toros. I'm kill my phone. <sighs> what about like Golden Walk or something? I don't fucking know. Little Walk? Little Walk. Is that a place? Oh, City Walk. 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 walk. <sighs> These are going to come up and we're going to like. Should we, just, should we just split? No. I got nothing. I'm sorry. Mexican food. Popular Mexican food. Uh, Chi Chi's uh, still around? Jimmy's. Jimmy's Seafood. Uh, oh. What about like Joe's Stone Crab? I mean, that's like what? a super nice place, but What's they're that everywhere. It's like that shitty one out in Schaumburg. Right. Bob Chins. <laughs> Bob Chins. What, what's that one that fucking uh, like Stu Finer and Dave were going with online? Remember, it was some seafood place. I don't know if that's like local to Maryland. Yeah, it's Jimmy's. Jimmy's. That's Jimmy's. Yeah. That's All right. Five, four, three. three. Bubba Gum Shrimp Company. I don't know. Not a bad guess, but not on there. Not a bad guess. We're never going to get through this fucking question. There's 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 an internal monologue in my head right now of what we do because I don't think anyone's going to get it. But I'll give you a go. <laughs> we're going to give it like two more goes. Does Tex Mex count? Yeah. Oh. Um. um yeah. Say it, Chief. Uh, Mexico. No. 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 It, it's a. Um, oh shit. On the border. On the border. On the border. On the border. Chili's. Chili's. Go with Chili's. 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 On, on the border. border. On, the border. on the border. On the border. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Woo. I can't. I, I cannot. Five. Chevy's. Chevy's. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Rest of the list. Hey, a lot of people know. watching are going to know some of these. Papa Do, Captain D's, Chewy's is another one. I don't know a single. I don't know. Uncle either. Julio's. We got a good Uncle Julio's on North Avenue. I don't know. I don't really know. Torchies is great, too. Torchies uh, is great. Rubio's, I know. Rubio's, I've heard of. I've never heard no, of any of those. The only one on there that we could have we could have thrown out there was uh, on the border, Dave. That's it. That's the only one I've heard that of. Was, that was. I've. I've Torchies is Torchies is all over like Colorado and Texas. Like they're yeah. very good. But the best yeah. part is we went five for five and then just hit a Stallworth. Like that was crazy. if you hadn't if we had got that wrong, we would have moved to a different list. But Chicago up five to three. Keynote, Minahan, you have your double. Next category is college Please. basketball. Right. We'll have to get this. Have to get a steal too. Come on. College this basketball for Chicago. This is you that double you're gonna have 35 seconds. No, don't double it. No, it's not their niche. You guys know college hoops. And... Here we go. 
match these former college basketball players with their SEC college universities and SEC universities and schools. Chris Lofton, Ronnie Brewer, Sundiata Gaines. Lofton's right. well, Tennessee, Ronnie... Brewer's Arkansas. Oh, I thought yeah. Brewer was Florida. What? I thought Brewer was Florida. No, no, no. That's Corey. It's Corey Brewer. Brewer. Okay. All right. Ronnie Brewer is Arkansas. Sunny out of games. Who is that? I don't know. I don't Kick know. Kentucky, Florida. Maybe that's Florida. 15 seconds. I don't know Gaines. Lofton and Brewer. 10 seconds. Rico obviously Park knows. Rico's face. Missouri? I mean, I don't know. Gaines? Five. No. Three. I, Tennessee, One. Arkansas, and Florida. Other side. All right, so they're throwing me off with Brewer, and, and if it's Arkansas or Florida, but I know it's Tennessee, and Jeff made a fatal mistake, but Sunday out of Gaines is from Malloy High School, and he went to Georgia. So okay. it's ten. Yeah. What, what I oh, we can't double dip. All right, if they're Ronnie Brewer, four. Who, who's the all right? Three. All right, Tennessee, Arkansas, Georgia. That's fine. Final answer. That oh. is correct. Five to four. That's it, Rico. Jeff made so a fatal he mistake. Went to some high school on fucking Staten Island or something. You're no, kidding. he went to Malloy. He played for a legendary coach named Jack Curran. They were a 14 seed. I they mean, won what, the SEC. Cut me some fucking slack here, Jesus Christ! All right, other side. Here we go to tie it up. All three lifelines match these former college basketball players to their Pac-10 college universe co- universities. Why did I put that three fucking times? Universities and schools. Quincy Pondexter, Jerome Randall, Tawan Porter. All right, I got the last one. Pondexter, for some reason, felt like fucking Rutgers. Um, we got Reeves if you want him. I could probably use him. Quincy Pondexter. Uh, see, yeah, yeah. You know what? Uh, yeah, I need some help with this one. Let's try. Can you call him. Uh, yeah. yeah, call him back. You want. Yeah, right. the other one was call. easy. Reeves. Yeah, yeah. I just need a. I need a little help with this one. Okay, so they're gonna call Reed to tie it up. Be busy. He's not busy. He's put. He's putting his kids down. You preached a song about Bobby Reagan about unavailable. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, hey, hey. Yo, Reeks, Reeks. Not the tone. Where did where did, <laughs> where did <laughs> Quincy? Hold, All hold right. Up. Where did Quincy Pondexter and Jerome doing? Randall go to college? Both Pac-10. No, no. All right. Where did Pondexter go? Ten seconds. Okay, where did, Rome, where did Randall Rome's go? dead. This is a stall tactic. Jerome Randall. What do you mean? We di- I dialed the guy. He's talking to him. He's talking right now. That's him? He just All right, said got he- it. He's I speaking? Heard the now. Yes. Oh, Pat, he's Pat, speaking. Pat, Pat, called, Pat and Rico called them both at, at the exact same time. same time. Oh, yeah. Rico got through first. Okay. Who's Fine. on right now? Me. Yeah. Washington, Stanford, Oregon. Fine. Final answer. Ah! Other side. 15 you seconds. Yell, because you made the fatal mistake. Jerome Randall went to Hales for Franciscan, which yep. was in the Chicago Catholic League White Conference. He played with Nate Minoy, who was a fucking rebound legend. It's You're Washington. Out of time. It's Cal, and it's Oregon. Say it again. I didn't. Washington, Cal, Oregon. That is correct. Oh, Six oh, to oh, four. Oh, for the. For the record, I did he not said, know both of you called. By the way, that is my yeah. mistake. That right. was very. For the record, confusing. he said Stanford. That I literally looked like Rico was talking to voicemail. I couldn't. Well, I was one of the great confused. ball handlers in college basketball history. Fair. All right. Fuck me. Fuck. Next category is golf. Next category right, we'll, is golf. We'll double this. We'll double this. Doubled up for Minahan. You guys okay with that? Yep. Rico. Yeah. 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 Obviously, double it. Right, we need right. it. This is for Chicago. Up six to four. Fucking Pac-12. Come on, Dave. This European golfer turned pro in 2001, has 17 career wins, and is and was the 2011 leading money winner, but has never won a major tournament. 35 seconds. Lee Westwood or Luke Donald? Luke Donald. Uh, in you? It's not Luke Donald because Luke Donald went to Northwestern. I don't think he turned pro in 2001, but Lee, Lee Westwood, Westwood is Donald. Donald. I think it's it's probably Luke Donald. Luke it's Donald. probably Luke Donald went to Northwestern. Yeah, the Northwestern University. Lee, Lee, Westwood's, Lee, Westwood, Lee Westwood's good, though. He was around, I think, in the late 90s. I do think he's too old for that, yeah. Chief. I think it's Luke Donald. Luke Donald. That is correct, 7-4. to four. That's huge. Other side to make it 7-6. So he went, to col- he went to college in Chicago, right, Arian? 
Oh, yeah. yeah, that's why I know Luke Donald, because I was up watching him at the Northwestern playing. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't asking you, Carl. I was, I, was, I, was asking, I was asking Jeff. I was, I, I, right, you know. Sorry, Kirk, actually, I am sorry. You're, I'm just in the heat of battle. He, gets, he does get wild. I'm sorry. Oh, For two points. This. This American golfer turned pro in 2000, has 17 career wins, and was a 2010 leading money winner, but has never won a major tournament. Was a 2010 leading money winner? Keep, keep American golfer turned pro in 2000. Kirk, you have it or like 10 nope. seconds? I don't. Rocco Mediate is a name nope. that fucking jumps out? Nope. 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 Who was like running with Tiger Five. back then? Three. We'll call Rick. We can't call Riggs. One. Coocher. It's not though. I don't know. Full name? Matt Coocher. That is correct. Seven to six. Dude, Come on! Why did you, you struggle with that though? He was on the Ryder Cup team. I knew it the whole time, fuckhead. <laughs> <laughs> Seven, six, double off the board. Both teams have their double dips. Getting fucking ten. You I like that? that when we're up. I like that when we're up. We're down. College football. College Matt football. did not go to college in Massachusetts. I think, <laughs> all right. All right. I started that war. I, st I started that little shot. I, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're we're, we're, we're in the tents. Let's get tents. Just get tents. I mean, let's fucking – what are we doing here? Let's all go. Right. Here, here we go. go. Next category is college Jeff. football. Right. What did you, college, say? What'd you Need say? Need it. College football. Come on, Chief. You and me. Let's go. For Chicago. <laughs> From 20, 2005, 2013, four different QBs led Miami in passing. Kyle Wright, Robert Marv, Stephen Morris, and who else? 35 seconds. Fucking Rico. 2005, four different quarterbacks led in return. I can't Double dip for both teams. That's the only lifeline. What did you Can say, Dave? I, I'm. I don't remember. Like I remember Robert Mar Mar and Steve. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, no, no. one. And Dorsey. Other side. I feel like somewhere along the line they had like a flash in the pan type kid. Twenty thirteen. Yeah. I have um, no idea. Obviously. I'm just trying to fucking like five, four, three, I don't know. two, one. Bernie Kozar. Jacory Harris. Jacory Harris. My, 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 my. Other side to tie it up. From 2000 to 2009, four different QBs led Tennessee in passing. Casey Clawson, Rick Clawson, Jonathan Crompton, and who else? We got a bad echo now, Jeff. Huh? I got a bad echo from you now. As a heads up, I have an echo. Yeah, a little bit. Ah, uh, 2000 to 2009. We're called Big T. I, yeah, I you already used it. it. You can't call him. I, we already I, used I, it. Yeah, I know. Um, I also threw a can at his head. I don't think he'd answer. Um, <laughs> shit. Uh, Tennessee. I don't know. I really don't. Brandon nah. wrote the questions. I have no, no idea. idea. Five. I no idea. Tyler Bray. Tyler Bray. Tyler Bray. Final, final answer. Final answer. Tyler Bray. You're close, but it's Eric Ainge. Eric Ainge. Wow, and next category: television. Television. Those are, tough. Those are very tough. Here we go. Television. Can I randomly know, please? Do we want to use that lifeline? We're pretty good at TV, typically. This is for Chicago. Danny McBride played the character Neil Gamby for two seasons of what HBO dark comedy series? Was it Vice Principals? I like that answer. He, he was in that he's show. On, I don't. I, that's the only other HBO show I can guess that he was on. Well, he was. He's been on three now, and this would be the third one, I think. All so right. I, I like that answer, Vice Principals, and that was. I think it only ran for two it's years. Yeah, vice principals. Final answer? Final. 
Eight to six. Other side. Good answer. Take him with premium cable. Maggie Joan all played the character Eileen Merrill for three seasons. What HBO drama? Jesus. I have no idea. She was on HBO. I didn't know she was on HBO show. It's not the affair. Um, no, that's Showtime. HBO drama. Three years. Like any like turn of the century type shows that they had on HBO that was a drama. Maybe. Three like seasons. that like Gilded Era shit that they always have these women playing. Yeah, I have no idea. The fucking exactly. match. Unbelievable. Fucking Tom Lane. And fucking Hold on. Five. Four. Three. Uh, the leftovers. Finally. Yeah. Other side. Go back to like 2004, right Chief. Yeah. I, I, what was that? What was the gangster oh, show? I'm like, oh, oh, the- oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go Boardwalk Empire. Boardwalk Empire? Yeah. If I don't love that. I think it ran longer than three. No, that was definitely longer. It, just, it, just, it didn't say three seasons. It just oh, said she was in. on it. Okay, One. Boardwalk Empire. That'd be the Deuce. The Deuce. Oh, oh yeah. Never heard of it. The Deuce. Two point lead for Chicago. Four points left on the board. NFL next category. We deserve to this lose. is for Chicago. At age 36 in 2007, this NFC South wide receiver proved to still be a force. He racked up over 1,000 yards receiving for the third straight season. Who is it? Is it Steve Smith? I like that answer. Uh, he no, not not 2007. Go Horn. He retired like five years ago. Joe Horn, Musha Muhammad. Uh, no, 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 no. no. Why he was on that? Well, yeah, he was around then with the Bears, but he he was with Carolina before that. NFC I, South guys, it's Falcons, Saints. Ten seconds, Carolina. I don't I, go Horn. Five, four, three, two. Yes. Uh, Moose Muhammad. Other side, fifteen seconds. The Falcons were okay back then. Joe uh, Joe Horn kind of makes sense, but he was with those teams three years. Uh, who's the fourth team in the NFC South? Joe Horn was with was with New Orleans at that point, right? You're saying? Uh, yeah, I mean, he. I think he was a little bit earlier. But uh, Falcons were making runs. Yeah. Joe Horn, I guess. Right, Joe Horn, got, got nothing else. It was the fourth team. Joey Galloway in the bucket. Ooh. Other side to make it eight to Me. seven. At the age of 36, 2005, this AFC South wide receiver ended his career strong with two consecutive seasons breaking the 1,000-yard receiving mark. Titans, Jaguars, uh, Texans, and... Yeah, Keenan McCardle, no? 2005, 36 years old. Derek Mason, Keenan McCarthy. Uh, AFC South. Oh. Ten seconds. Five. I don't know. Four. Four one of those, Corey. Uh, Derek Mason, final answer. Other side for the win. Yeah, what about Smith Jimmy, the Jimmy Jaguars. Smith? Jimmy Smith. Jimmy the Jaguars. Jaguars. Jaguars, Brian Leftwich on that team. David Garrard. Yeah. yeah, Jimmy Smith. Jimmy Smith. Chicago retains the crown. That is correct. They've won again. Fuck you, you Brandon Walker. Fuck you. Geography. After China, India, Russia, and Kazakhstan, what is the largest country by state, uh, by area in Asia? Mongolia. Final answer. Sure. <laughs> I don't know. I can't believe I fucking guessed the fucking basketball question. I needed that one, too. And Greg Maddox. Fuck me. And the fucking bonus. Five, throw country out. Four, three, two, one. Japan. Who cares? Who cares? I don't care. I don't care how many points we lose by. Who cares? After Russia, Ukraine, France. Is this for for once? These it doesn't totally matter because these two teams will still be top three. Germany. Russia, Ukraine, France, and Spain. What is the largest country by area in Europe? Germany. France is bigger than Germany. Oh, it's on there. I want Chile. To... Can I guess now or no? I mean. This is Uganda. For Minahan, if they don't want to guess, I mean, I don't Brazil. Care. I don't give a fuck. Whatever. Germany. All right. I think, Chicago. I, think I think it's Denmark because they got Greenland. Oh, they, that's a nice little Fair answer. I mean, Fair answer. Run it up. I want that on the scoreboard. Chicago at Sweden is the number one team once again on the dozen. They beat Team Minahan nine to six. Debrief. Kirk, thoughts? 
These questions are fucking hard, man. No, they weren't. Yeah, yeah no. Danny McBride on, on HBO was a real tough one. Those no, we got no excuses. We got no excuses. Well, I I suck. We suck tonight. We suck. I didn't play well. We didn't sucked. Play well. Nobody no. beat us. We beat ourselves. I mean, nine points is nothing. We sucked. We it's sucked. unacceptable. We it's unacceptable. We lost. We, 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 there, there's won. a lot of people, though, that say playing us is hard. It's like hard to score on us because of our team dynamic and how much yeah. fun we have throughout the match. Is there any truth to that? I don't. I had no fun at all. I'm, hey, yeah. good match. We'll be here when you guys qualify for another crown match. We'll still have I it. I want to so. note Rico, not on my shit list. That was a joke. Not on my shit list. Though. Yeah, that's the thing we do. Like, it's what we do. Like, I just I don't want to start that with you. Chicago thoughts. You will play Team Smokin in two weeks. Mark Titus, Ken Jack, and Donnie. And if you retain it, you will then I don't know, you may have to if you take it to if you take it to the live event, you may have to play the Frank Etz with it. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But that's a long ways away. The thoughts, final thoughts here? I thought it's a I thought it was a fair match, Jeb. I thought you wrote fair questions. The questions were excellent. They were actually challenging, right? challenging questions. They're very challenging. That fucking Texas or uh, Mexican, uh, Chinese, whatever question, like we would have gone on for years if you guys didn't say uh, Tex uh, Texican food. And that I was, was like, the big difference was Dave getting it, up on it, the board it, it, and didn't take it. I was you lose Mac YouTube? I can eat 3G. What? I haven't had I haven't had an ounce of 3G tonight. I'm about to take some. That's a lot. I, 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 I turning point. Team in, you're back in a few weeks. I, I playing on the top team. You will not fall outside the top three, most likely. Chicago, you remain number one. We're back next week. I think your mom is playing. The Misfits are going to debut with Kelly Keegs for the first time. And after that, it's three matches a week until we get to the tournament. Chicago, the number one team on the dozen.